people, 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 people. Keep us a suck, pass, say what they do. Now, people, we see that jungle, Rima, Arnett Garden, Mexico, East Kingston, West Kingston have been living like dog and puss. Because history has shown that there's a genuine dislike, distrust, and fear of each other. We are speaking about a gang culture that has been embedded in these communities for in excess of four decades. I am speaking about since 1980. So people, nothing has changed. So anyways, based on what has been transparent in those communities lately, it seems like a very good idea. It seems like a logical solution to basically get all the MPs, we are speaking about the politicians, in those communities to organize a peace war. Now people, what is so ironic, the same people that basically started this thing we are speaking about initially in 1980 is the same set of person. They are asking to basically solve the solution. So therefore, the problem becomes a solution. So anyways people, this is what happened they had a little peace war this is what happened a rise in gang feud across communities in central kingston has compelled the intervention of political representatives they are determined to restore peace especially in the downtown kingston area the jamaica labor party's caretaker for the constituency donovan williams saw a peace walk as a crucial step i am out of you it is incumbent upon me to intervene and to do what i can do to supplement or to assist law enforcers in their job to reduce crime in the community. But could the peace walk be a catalyst for the change needed? We need this walk because we have been this walk, we have been this walk for quite some time in this community. And from what I'm seeing since the evening, it's some improvement. So we as the community member, we have to work with the MP and make the community crime free. So people, them walk the walk, them talk the talk. However, this is the reality of the situation as it pertains to those garrison people gunshot start back. So people, take a listen to some audios of something that transpired. We are speaking about last night, we are talking about Dungatown. We are speaking about in those same volatile communities. Take a listen and then I'll give my peace. Yo, oh, don't have Tiffany, I yeah. sell with all of the owners, I sell it. We hear police are ball for a raid, brother. Police are ball like living in the water for chump. Police spin down the market. Gunman are travel in and out, and then I'm down to the other one. I try to go across Tiffany, yeah. one bag of something I go on. All of the owners are mash up with gunshot right now. Are you in a slippery? The men coming down and out. Black man, let me have to hear this. Come on, I'm looking at it. Jamaica I put it and I can see that you have pinned on down there man. Let me send some assistance to you. Send shall shift command a police emergency. Emergency supervisor voice. Go, go. Hmm? Butter sound plus that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So it seems like the dream was short lived. It seems like reality kicked in. It seems like they had a dream like Martin Luther King until we are talking about the gunshot, it start ring, it start sing. We are speaking about like Benny King and Diana King and the Pope of them ears, it start to ring. So people, the moral of the story is this. There is a reality and then there is a dream. And the difference between reality and a dream, we are speaking about they are polar opposite. And don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not, I am never saying give up on peace. However, it seems like it was an exercise in futility. It is not sustainable because people like them say when it is in person's chromosome, when it is in their genes, when it is in their natural instinct, when it seems like it is culture for them to hate each other, that is exactly what they are going to do. Point blank and period. Now we know that there is a genuine distrust as it pertains to this community. We are talking about Denham Town, we are talking about Arnett Garden, we are talking about Rima, we are talking about Jungle, we are talking about Mexico, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. These persons, they just don't like each other. And they just don't, even more, them don't like the Popo. So we are speaking about the Popo is the common enemy. Everybody hate each other. However, 
everybody them hate the popo or distrust the popo so people at this time it seems like the gunmen had the upper hand it seems like they had the popo basically pinned down and they were basically stressed out they came under siege just like these communities and um, people the gunmen made their feelings be known and they were conning up the place where i talk about everybody i forget flat like that classic song but people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. It is not who wins the battle, it is who wins the war. And even though it seems that like these G-U-N-M-E-N have the power for them, pan them face, have them flat, we know that justice is going to always prevail. It is always justice over injustice. It is always right over wrong. So people, what can we expect? And these are the things that we can expect. These are the things that these garrison eras can expect we are speaking about they are going to come under some sort of pressure and these are the pressure now we know that there's a zone of special operation state of emergency already implemented in most of these areas however we can expect some intense curfew we can expect more popo operation we can expect to hear the same cliche thing the popo came under fire and when they return such fire basically people pick up tack basically people are clutching for their life rate lele blue blah bling however at the end of the day it is always going to be the community that is always going to get we are talking about the s-h-i-t-t-y end of the stick and the popo will always prevail and they will always get the backing of the popo federation and also they will always be afforded we are speaking about some top-notch lawyer we are speaking about peter champagne we are talking about bird samuels we are speaking about valenita robertson we are speaking about all of the good lawyers so people, the moral of the story is this, the higher that the monkey climbs is the more that he is exposed. And why be penny wise and pound foolish and why win the battle only to lose the war and people who are going to be the losers in this war. We are speaking about the persons that are living in said garrison communities. They are going to come under intense pressure from the popo, point blank and period. Now I know that persons are always saying, all oh, them people that love the gang and gun culture, so why are they always feuding? Why it seems like black people cannot get along? And people, if you know the history of Jamaica, Jamaicans are some tribal sort of people. Jamaica come from the most rebellious slaves coming from Africa and people. This is what happens when you have lack of education, a shortage of job or no sort of job. When you have political corruption and all so poor poor abusing people people these are not the recipe for success it is the recipe for disaster and the truth and the fact is that that is what has been plaguing Jamaica for decades we are speaking about before 1980 so people we are talking about four decades so the point that I am trying to make is that this is not going to change until the mindset of the people them change until they stop harboring we are speaking about these dance and gunmen until these gunmen stop keeping the place under siege may i talk about the residents and in this case the popo so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance all source one word don't put any space between the words and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also subscribe to this channel we're speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please to press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people like them say when it rains it rains and it rains and it pours and it seems as if it is always pouring upon the popo we are speaking about the jamaican popo are always under pressure we are talking about constantly we are talking about from g-u-n-m-e-n we are talking about from the teeth them however in this situation it seems that they came under pressure and they basically got the upper hand because they got some teeth some gunmen under control so people take a listen take a look and then I'll give my peace. Yes, sir. It's a Guam power. All between all our hands. You don't know where you're there. <laughs> That's the last tool. Look, see side of the stuff. Is there side, ma? Okay. Where's it? 
Oh, Maypen, Glenmore, yes, as right, one store, Glenmore, man, the Glenmore, media Glenmore. Yes, Yo, media Glenmore with police and bad man. <laughs> Yo, bad man. one of them get shot though. Yo, the police and fire some shot your fret. But the boy, they ain't skilled, boy, they can't drive your fret. No, sir. And a young boy, I watch them panic wrong there, sir. Erica said them the panic wrong. Look there. See them out there, sir? No, police and fire some shot. But then, traffic boy, they bad man. They can't drive. See, traffic can pile up, you know, and this road, you know, to and from. Now people like me say, this incident took place somewhere on the highway, it is breaking news, I think that it took place yesterday, however, you know that most of these incidents you are not going to see them on traditional media, we are talking about TVJ, we are talking about CVM, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blend, however, you know who have the hookup. So people, like we see again, the popo came under pressure and we see it involved some new millennial. We are talking about some young man, we are talking about some thief. We are speaking about some persons that are embedded in this gang and gun culture. We are speaking about some lazy people that don't want to work and feel as if it is their job to prey upon innocent people. We are talking about the residents and citizens of Jamaica. However, in this instance, it seems like them buck up on the wrong set of people. We are talking about the popo and um, people. You realize that this was the highway and you realize how lucky these young men are because if the highway never full up of people, we are talking about passers-by, we are talking about drivers, you know that so these young men would not be going in. You know that there would not be any sort of court date. You know that instead of going to the big house, they might have been going to the DEAD house. We are talking about mud, we are talking about dove cut so people them better lucky and sleep on the same side of the bed that they slept on well not really the same side because more than likely there won't be any sort of mattress or any sort of bed because we are talking about down a gp we are talking about down a huntsby them sort of place there there is no sort of comfort point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up